What's up guys, welcome to new Unreal Engine 5 video. Today I'm gonna show you how to create a character selection menu. It's going to be a very easy video to follow, so let's get started. Alright, so the first thing I'm to do is create a new level that our character selection menu will take place. So I'm gonna select a basic and hit create. I don't need to save anything over here. And once it has loaded, the first thing that I am going to do is delete the player start, as we will not really spawn a pawn anymore, we will set a fixed camera. So for this, let's go up into the quickly add to the bread section, go to all classes, and then with our cursor on top of this, you know, um, list of options, we can start typing. And I'm gonna go ahead and use type for camera actor and drag it into our level. Now let's go ahead and you center this and just put this to be a bit up and then change the perspective to be made like 60 so we'll be a bit more of you know in depth now when i press play nothing will happen we get our play uh spawned and things like that so let's go into world settings and just make sure that our player will not spawn by setting it to none and then also on the camera we need to go and make sure that this will be possessed so to do this i'm going to go ahead and use um search for player and you can see that we have auto activate full player in this case we're going to put player zero and now we are taking perspective of our camera now you notice that there were some black bars at the you know edges so we can simply just disable the constraint aspect ratio and now it will occupy the viewport and there we go now we have a camera on our level for the selection so let me save this as the selection level and with that said now we're good to go so now let's go ahead and create an actor which will be our basically character that we will change over here so for this let's right click and create a new blueprint class and let's select actor let's name this something as bp underscore uh, selection character and open this up so the first thing that i am going to add is basically a skeleton mesh just name it mesh and then just go ahead and put by default our many simple. And now with that said, we can put this into place. So a minus 90 will not actually need anything. You said minus 90 on rotation. Cool. So now with that said, I can drag in my character selection pawn. Just, you know, kind of rotate it uh, 180 degrees. So it will be facing me. And then you just put it a bit like here. So now when I press play, as you can see, we have it over there. And I'm actually going to go ahead and just rotate this, something like this. And now we have it on there, perfectly centered. Cool. So now the only thing left to do will be, well, first of all, I am going to apply a simple idle animation. So it looks a bit nicer, if you know what I mean. So let me go ahead and just change the animation mode to asset and drag in our MM idle. Let me just click on his. There we go. So now we have our idle animation you know happening and it looks uh, a bit nicer right there we go cool so now we need some logic so to begin setting up logic we're gonna be creating the widgets right as we will need a button to change of let's say mesh in this case so let's right click go to user interface and create a new widget blueprint let's click uh use widget and let's name this something as it will be underscore selection menu open this up and the first thing that I am going to do is drag in a canvas panel, which will allow us to place things on the screen. Now, with that said, I am going to go ahead and just drag in a button, which will basically consist of an anchor at the bottom center of the screen with a position on X and Y to 0, 0 and the alignment to 0 0.5, 0 0.5. That way, it will basically be centered on the screen. With that said, I'm gonna make this a bit bigger. I don't know how big, but around this, and then just overall put this, change the Y so it's a bit higher. Cool. Let me rename this button to the uh, change mesh button, right? And with that said, I gotta make sure that it is a variable so we can, you know, add a code into this variable later on. And then I am also gonna go ahead and just drag in a text inside of this. Uh, mesh button we can also just drag it into the outline however you prefer and this will be change mesh or a character in this case better there we go so let me go ahead and just customize real quick a bit the style of this tint right so it'll be a bit nicer there we go 
and I'm gonna change this to be something like this and there we go cool all right so now we've changed a bit of the aspect and it looks a bit cooler so now it is time to add this into our screen so for this what I am going to do is create a game mode for this selection menu so let's right click create a blueprints class and let's select a game mode base and this will be called gm underscore selection open this up and we're gonna go into the event graph and on the begin play I am simply gonna go ahead and just create a widget okay this widget will of course be the one that we just created and then we can just add this to the viewport so it'll be in the player screen and now with that said we just need to go to the wall settings and assign our GM selection game mode with that said if I press play now we can see that we have the widget appearing and I can press click now the thing is that if I press my mouse on any other part of the screen it disappears that's because we need to change the UI input mode so for this I'm gonna go ahead and just right click get the player controller and then use set show mouse cursor we're gonna go ahead and just enable this and then also set the mode to be game and UI that way our you know cursor will not snap when we click and then the widget in focus will basically be this widget cool so now with that said as you can see I can basically click and my you know cursor will still be there which is cool and we can click this change character button right now of course it doesn't do anything so let's go ahead and change this so what we need to do is have a reference to our selection character and on here you just overall make a new custom event which will be change character so for this what I am going to basically do is have an array of meshes and then we can just go through them as we click change character so let's create a new variable and call this overall characters this will basically consist of a skeleton mesh variable type object reference and then when we compile in details we're going to change it into an array so an array is basically a list so now i can start to add different types so first of all we will have of course our mani simple which is the one that we have right now and then we can put our mannequin which is the one for unreal engine 4 and we can also put a uh, queen right simple for our uh, other character actually i don't know why there you go okay cool so now we have three characters and when we press change character we simply need to scroll through them so let's right click well not right click actually left click and create a new variable and this will be the current character index okay so each time that we press this button we will increase this index and each you know character has an index in the race so it will go and select a different one right let's change it to be an integer and of course single not anymore an array and basically when we change the character we will simply just go and get the current index incremented by one right and then just go and get the characters right and then say get a copy and we can filter by index so we can pass in the new index over here right and then you get a reference to this which we will just simply update the mesh with a set skill to mesh not asset but here uh actually yes i think okay actually we want that yet yeah. set mesh where is it Go to mesh asset. No. My goodness, doesn't show up. There we go. Set let's go to mesh asset, and we're gonna go ahead and just drag in this one. Now, with that said, we just need to call this changed character from here. So, what I am going to do is go to the um, uh, selection menu, and I'm gonna go and select the change mesh button, and just add an unclicked event. So when we click it, and this shows here because remember that I enabled is variable. Now can you just go and say um, get actor from class, and it will basically find the actor in the level. So in this case, it's selection character, and then I can just call the select or change character. I don't remember what it was. Change character, and that's it. So with that said, we can now just go and press play and when we press change character, it will go and change. 
Now the problem is that if I go and do it one more time, we will get an error. Why? That's because our index is higher than our current uh, one. So we're gonna make sure that every time that we increase it, right? Our current index, right? Is basically less than our length of our characters that way we have this here and if not we simply just set this back to zero and then continue on on here okay so that's it now i can go and change the character and then we go back uh to here as you can see uh, we need uh, an extra click to do this so to avoid having an extra click i'm going to decrease this by one all right so it will be basically one less than the length because it goes from zero to whatever number not from that and now yes we go and change that which is pretty cool and by default the only thing needed is to basically also get this value over here so instead of grabbing it from here i'm gonna just drag in the variable itself and now when we go and press play we change the character and boom we cycle through all of them so everything is looking great so that's pretty much it for a change character selection menu now the only thing left will be to create a game instance which is basically a class that persists through different levels and you will then load that mesh selected onto your next character right in the next level so if we want it to turn on that let me know and i will go ahead and make it turn on that so let me know so that's it guys found this so helpful i would really appreciate it if you like you and subscribe to the channel uh, we're gonna have full access to the product files for Patreon new members link in the description join my discord server follow me on my socials now yes for said bye bye